In this video, we will walk through using Illumina Design Studio to create custom panels for DNA and RNA sequencing. For DNA designs, we have four options. AmpliSeq for Illumina Gene, which is useful for covering full genes or regions of interest. AmpliSeq for Illumina Hotspot, which allows for designing panels that target SNPs and small indels. AmpliSeq for Illumina On Demand, which allows you to select from predetermined wet lab tested primer pairs, and enrichment panels, which allows for targeting large gene panels for use of the Illumina DNA Prep with Enrichment Library Prep Kit. In this example, we'll choose a gene design, then choose our species of interest, human with the HG19 reference genome, and then we'll give the design a name. On this next screen, we can then configure more specifics about the design, choosing the sample type and amplicon length. For regular input, we can choose one of four amplicon lengths, whereas with FFPE and CFDNA, or cell-free DNA, the amplicon length options will be limited to smaller sizes to ensure good panel performance. Here we'll choose regular and 275 base pairs. Once we've configured the design parameters, we can add the targets we would like to cover by gene name, chromosomal coordinates, or we can use a template to upload multiple targets at once. We can also copy amplicons from pre-existing designs or from community and fixed panels. The minimum number of amplicons for design is 12, while the maximum is over 12,000. Here we'll use the add gene function and add our genes. Then we can submit the design. For RNA design, we have three options. AmpliSeq for Illumina Expression, which is a single pool design for targeted gene expression analysis. AmpliSeq for Illumina Fusion, which is for targeted gene fusion panels. And TrueSeq Targeted RNA, which is a sequencing-based gene expression assay, which allows up to 1,000 targets in as many as 384 samples on the MySeq. We'll select an expression panel and give the design a name. On this next screen, we can add RNA targets by gene name, transcript ID, or uploading a file of a list. We'll add genes by name, and we'll need a minimum of 12 targets to be able to submit. Then we can submit the design. When our designs are complete, we can access them from our Design Studio account. Here we can see what kind of coverage we have, how many pools, and other details of the design before ordering.